Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this session we shall continue with our session in which we will be booting from a LAN device. In the previous section we have already installed RHEL on dev RH4, uh, 436SAN2G. We did it by selecting a specialized storage while installing RHEL6 and we scanned this iSCSI target for the device and installed RHEL6 on it. Now in this section we shall be booting the operating system directly from that iSCSI device. We shall be using the same station 16 as a demonstration virtual machine. So now it won't boot from CD-ROM and just for confirmation we just disconnect the DVD from it now it doesn't have any device because you can see that it doesn't have a device uh, that is storage so any sto none of the storage device is connected to it we shall just modify our dhcpd.com which provides is an it's an IP address and which provides it the device from which it has to boot so it will be booting from network boot options it will be network network okay just click on apply now it will be booting only from the network so from the network it's the responsibility of the DHCP server to provide it an IP address and the file from which it has to boot let's have a look into the dhcp.com slash etc dhcp dh cpd.com and this is station 16 allow booting boot p file name leave it be blank host name ethernet mac address the main option that we have to look into is the root path option root path which includes the complete details of our iSCSI target LUN iSCSI target device from which it has to boot let's have a look tgt admin minus s you can see that this is the iSCSI device iSCSI target ID that we will be using just copy and paste it over here sorry mm. this is the iSCSI protocol that we will be using after colon is the name of the machine and after that this will be protocol TCP UDP it's by default TCP then the next thing that we have is the port that it will be using 3260 which is by default this is the LUN ID which is 1 in our case and just copy and paste the target ID over here click on write q slash etc nl.d dhcpd restart okay now we will just boot this station 16 and we'll see that it will receive an IP address from DHCP server it receives and it's now started booting from that particular LAN device just to confirm what if this LAN device is not available let's just force off this virtual machine and stop the iSCSI target we'll see that it will not be able to boot or the second thing that we can do is we'll just stop the DHCP server and we'll see that it won't be able to boot because it won't receive an IP address 
it won't receive a device from which it has to boot so effectively the virtual machine will not be able to boot it's trying to fetch the IP address but won't be able to so it says no bootable device present as soon as we start it start the virtual machine we will see that it will receive an IP address it will receive a device from which it has to boot and will start booting from it it's now booting from it here in iSCSI target you can see the sorry you can see that station 16 is connected to to the target ID 1 these are the previous sessions that were created by the same station 16 with this IP address so these connections have not yet been re released by it. you can see that station 16 is utilizing this SAN and here it has been booted successfully VF minus H and you can see that you have nearly 1.6 gigs of hard disk present in it and you have some parts which is swap also so you can see that uh, swap is also of nearly 700 MB so effectively it comes out to be nearly 2.1 gigs which was the size of the LAN that we had so just to recall the things we have to configure DHCP server and we have to assign a static IP address corresponding to a MAC address and secondly DHCP server will be responsible for providing the root device from which a virtual machine or a physical machine has to boot after it has received that particular iSCSI device it will be looking into the MBR of the device and will start booting from it. Let's have a look at DHCPD.com dhcpd.com so this is our section corresponding to station 16 which shows that it's allow to boot boot p allow booting file name let it be blank because we don't provide any file name to it we will just be providing root path which is corresponding to the iSCSI device iSCSI is the protocol second is the name of the station third is the port whether it's TCP UDP second is port number which is 3260 by default it takes on its own this is the LAN ID and this is the target ID the station name that is to be provided by the DHCP server to station 16 and it is to be provided fixed IP address 192.168.1.16 and hardware or the MAC address of station 16 is this one so this is how it works Thanks for listening and viewing the video. This is Rajneesh. Bye.